The midsize GMC Canyon AT4X is one of the best off-road pickups that you can buy off the showroom floor, but is it worth the extra price? Let's find out, folks. Unlike a decade ago, there's a wide choice of mid-size pickups to choose from. Making a decision can be tough. GMC's Canyon is new and improved for 2023. That's not just a marketing slogan, it is a better rig. Want to beat up on your shiny new truck ASAP? The new AT4X comes right off the showroom floor, ready for abuse. Adding an X to AT4's capability first happened on the full-size Sierra pickup. It's not a stickers and trim package. For hauling stuff into the middle of nowhere, this competes with Ford Ranger Raptor, Nissan Frontier Pro X, Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro, Jeep Gladiator Rubicon, and sister Chevrolet Colorado ZR2. I'm testing Canyon's sister vehicle, the Chevy Colorado Trail Boss, a great basic off-road oriented truck. It's very affordable, starts at under $40,000, everything you need for $43,000. My big complaint with it is you can't even get basic creature comforts like heated seats and a telescoping steering wheel. The AT4X, on the other hand, very fancy. This one, as tested, $58,640, and there's only one option, really, a sunroof at $1,000. Here's the go you get for that extra AT4X dough. The 17-inch wheels wear 33-inch Goodyear Wrangler Territory Mud and Terrain Rubber. AT4 and Denali have a limited slip differential. The X upgrades that to front and rear e-lockers. More underbody protection is standard. And there are the Trick Multimatic Dynamic Suspension Spool Valve Dampers. These are transformative. The cabin is tastefully loud and proud. There's an exclusive Baja drive mode for fast off-road motoring. Compared to the Trail Boss, the interior is stuffed with upgraded materials and many more features like heated and vented seats and a leather wheel that's heated. AT4X is more expensive than Trail Boss, but you're getting something for the money. AT4X's width of some 66 inches is a smidge broader than other canyons, and those start with a wider track than the entry-level Chevy Colorados. AT4X is lifted by an inch over the Chevy Trail Boss, which itself is raised by two inches, so this has 10.7 inches of ground clearance. Now, the rock rails have somewhat of a foot assist. It's still kind of cumbersome to get into this truck, um, and there is no driver handle. Let's see if I can stick the landing. The Russian judge gives me a 10. FYI, AT4X drops Canyon's max towing capability from 7,700 pounds to three tons even. That's 6,000 pounds if you don't want to do the math. There are no more six cylinders in GM's midsize pickups or diesels. Behind the big red letters is a turbocharged 2.7 liter four cylinder. It cranks out 310 horsepower and 430 pound feet of torque, fairly low in the rev range. Good for steep grades. There's a slightly coarse quality about the sound. It works for a truck. All canyons shift gears with an eight-speed transmission. The traditional style Prindle shifter feels great. I'd rather see manual control on the steering wheel. These little buttons are kind of awkward to use. As mentioned before, there are drive modes and those should take care of any scenario. There's driving assist information too, and not just one set, there are three different pages. Just dial up your activity. Plus, there's an air down feature that chirps the horn when deflating the pressure you want the Goodyear set at. Front suspension is independent coilover. In back, it's solid axle with semi-elliptic two-stage leaf springs. Let's get dirty first. Right out of the box, AT4X is ready to go off-roading. It has improved ground clearance. It has extra protection underneath. It has better tires. 
it has the differentials front and rear that you can lock. Um, unfortunately, I don't have really tough terrain to take this on, but I do have the Forest Service Road that I drove Chevy Trail Boss on, so this is a good comparison. I know this doesn't look very rough, but GoPros and cameras just really smooth things out. This is much, much more severe than you might think. And one more thing, the DSSV units provide a huge advantage, making the canyon much more pleasant to push than the Trail Boss, which is already good. There's less bucking happening here. The tail doesn't chatter as much. Overall, there's noticeably more control happening. The slick Multimatic dampers really do their job. I'm, I'm doing like 45 miles an hour, and this is a very, very rough road. Um, this is kind of comfortable. Um, I'd go faster, but there might be a mountain biker around the corner, so gotta be careful. Between the lockable front and rear diffs, tires, drive modes, 36.9 degree approach angle, and gobs of low end torque, AT4X should handle anything owners would point a $59,000 truck at. If you're really gonna take this off-road and thinking about buying a winch, a brush guard, light bar, beadlock capable wheels, maybe consider the version that has the Edition 1 package, which also adds cameras underneath the vehicle, front and rear, with a wash feature. The Edition 1 package is extremely limited, so jump on that soon, or just outfit the truck with aftermarket parts, the way that you want it. Very similar to the Colorado, um, the turning radius on this is not exactly tight. Um, you'll be doing a lot of three-point turns, maybe four-point turns five point turns there we go gmc says each canyon model gets a unique look inside arguably the brand leads the segment when it comes to interiors at least at the higher trim levels denali gets laser etched wood and leather AT4X here is more eye-popping with exclusive Obsidian Rush and ceramic panels, if you want to know the marketing names, plus GMC Red Accents. The brand has kind of made that color its own. Touch points feel truck solid, have to appreciate the strategic padding. Denali and AT4X get the larger 11.3-inch interface screen. If you're shopping lesser models, don't be surprised to find an 8-incher. And there's a large head-up display. I don't think other mid-size pickups offer one. This is good for dropping all four windows together, handy for airing out a hot interior. Uh, the switch doesn't work in reverse, though. You'll be using these. There's nothing overly clever about storage spots, but there are plenty of useful places to stash things. And not only does the user interface have the excellent General Motors touch response and layout flow, it looks good too, with crisp, stylish graphics. No complaints. Plus, there's Google Assistant for great natural voice commands. Now, some are griping that headlight controls have gone from here to here, and I like knobs as much as the next guy, but I've never touched the headlight controls in my personal car. They're automatic, like these. And the controls are pinned to the touchscreen, so there's no digging. Hard buttons? Yeah, plenty of those. And the charge pad works well with my iPhone 13 Pro. Not all of them do. GM continues to serve up Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, at least for now, and it's wireless. The seven-speaker Bose sound is good. Uh, keep in mind that the regular system in the Trail Boss was surprisingly punchy. If you're among the GM faithful and buying a Colorado instead of Canyon Professional Grade, know that Chevy tunes its engines differently depending on the model. Uh, with Canyon, it's the same across the board. This will scamper to 60 miles an hour in about seven seconds. And even better than that, it has power to pass that slow moving RV that you want to get around on a two lane road. The engine notes, not robust. It's 
kind of anonymous. Apparently, there are piped-in engine sounds that change with the drive mode. I didn't notice the difference. Either it's subtle or I just wasn't paying attention. The GM pickups have excellent driving dynamics, and even though the AT4X has off-road chops, it doesn't really change. It's very comfortable. It goes down the road straight and true. The only pickup that has better ride quality would be the Honda Ridgeline. Um, one thing about this, it is fairly quiet, but those off-road tires do add road noise. Just a smidge. I'd be happy to drive this a couple hundred miles. I can't say the same for the current generation Tacoma. There's a generous helping of ADAS tech in the canyon, automatic emergency braking with pedestrian and cyclist detection, automatic high beams, and solid lane keeping assist are standard across the board. There are different grades of equipment on different models, but AT4X gets a full suite, adaptive cruise control included. This might be a mid-size pickup, but it's not overly fuel efficient. The EPA rates the average at 16 miles per gallon. At least it's regular grade fuel. Hey, the off-road tires and the raised ride height can't help efficiency. That rating is a couple MPGs lower than other Canyon models and just about all the competitors. Like the Colorado, Canyon is built exclusively with a crew cab and a five-foot bed. It's the configuration General Motors says most people order anyways. Some of the sheet metal is different than the Chevy version. It's not like the designers just whipped up a few new badges and called it a day. Oh, and AT4X eliminates the usual GM truck bumper step that I like. If you live really close to your next door neighbors, you won't be waking them up with the sound of a clunky tailgate. Plus, it's really light. Also, it can be locked with the fob or a physical key. Canyon doesn't get GMC's multi-pro tailgate, which is very cool, but this is not a bad space. You can throw tools and gloves back here. And when the tailgate is up and locked, people can't get into it. AT4X's max payload is 1,250 pounds. That's lower than most other canyons. All of the expected divots for load management and tie downs are here. Plus, power tools or a tailgate party can be run from here. GMC dealers will be happy to sell you optional adjustable lashing cleats and an LED lighting package, as well as a tonneau cover. For hauling sheets of building material, it's easy to MacGyver a platform with two by sixes in the bed, so there's storage underneath for tools, and the tailgate still supports the plywood or sheetrock. The space isn't as flexible as Ridgeline with the underbed storage, but there's solid utility here. For a thorough look at the back seat, check out my Chevy Colorado video where Evil Twin complains that leg and footroom are on the snug side. A truck this size won't have the passenger room of a Sierra 1500. It's just not going to happen. Head and knee room are good. The pockets are kind of small. Charging electronics won't be a problem. AT4X is a top trim, adding an armrest and a couple extra places for energy drinks. I would leave it to two adults back here if you value their friendship. There's a little extra storage under the cushions. A gallon of milk fits perfectly in one of the slots. Ask me how I know. Let's wrap this up with red light, green light. Green lights. AT4X is excellent when off-roading, especially running rutted trails at speed. Considering its rugged orientation, on-road performance and comfort suffers very little. The cabin is best in class with loads of luxury features. It's a handsome truck, especially in volcanic red tint coat paint. Yellow lights. The high quality cabin is kind of loud visually and there's no choice for the AT4X. This is a nice truck with great features and a premium price. Canyon's single cabin bed combination might be the most popular, but it's not for everyone. Red lights. AT4X's fuel economy is the lowest in the Canyon lineup. The lift kit makes this a chore to hike up and into. And at this price, the Bose system should be clearly superior to the standard audio setup. Go with a standard AT4, no X, and it's pretty easy to drop the price by seven grand. Of course, you'll be missing a few features and those awesome shocks. Colorado offers those up at a lower price. Me, 
being way too pragmatic, I would have a tough time beating up on a truck this nice. So I find the AT4 a good compromise between the AT4X and the base Chevrolet. The Chevy Colorado Trail Boss is a nice truck and a great value. The AT4X is better. It's got a more premium look and feel. It has additional off-road chops. It has creature comforts that you can't get on the Chevy, uh, but it's $15,000 more. That's the way it's always been and always will be, folks. Yeah, there's competition out there. For those with a good amount of disposable income, the GMC Canyon AT4X is a smooth operator that doesn't disappoint. It's a premium truck at a premium price. There is some talk that the GMC division is GM's most lucrative brand, and I believe that. The crimson letters are very distinctive. Um, hey, know what GMC stands for? Well, GM founder William Durant bought a truck company from Max and Morris Grabowski, the Grabowski Motor Company, or GMC. It is largely considered to have built the first truck in the U.S. in 1902. However, the folks at Haggerty did some digging, and they found that the Grabowskis didn't really use the branding GMC on any of its trucks before selling to Durant in 1909. So those red letters most likely stand for General Motors Company. I think you all know that I shoot these videos and I can't drive while doing that. So uh, this is the credits shot. Meet Martin Campbell once again. Um, I have like a mouthful of grit from cars going by. I need to brush my teeth. Time for me to floss the grit out of my mouth. Before I go, I just wanted to talk to you about why I love covering the automotive industry. I mean, for starters, I've always been a car guy ever since I've been like three years old. But here's the deal. There are so many facets to it, right? There's engineering, performance, pop culture, environmental, art, and what I really want to talk about, status symbol. Uh, one of the comments in the Chevy Trail Boss review said something to the effect of, yeah, midsize pickup trucks are nice and fine, but will it impress my neighbors? Will it impress people in the parking lot? Really? You're trying to impress people that you're never going to meet? Don't do that. Buy the vehicle you love. Buy the one that brings you joy, the one that speaks to you. I mean, you know, your neighbors and your family, they know you for the bozo you are, right? Okay, speaking for myself. But really, buy the vehicle that you love, okay? Don't worry about other people. Thanks for watching. Uh, remember, subscribe to this channel, click notifications, and if you really want to help me out, feel free to donate using YouTube Super Chat or stickers, or send something through Venmo. My name is spelled kind of unusually, so it's pretty easy to find me there. It really helps. I mean, the gas mileage on this, not exactly Prius-like.